Houston, and I just want to say I'm Thelma Scott, the founder of Embracing Diversity Show. And today is a special day, and I have some very, very special guests that I want to introduce to you guys today. Also, I have a new co-host, you guys. So, hey, let's give her a hand, you guys. Ho, 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 everybody. And who is that co-host? Who is that co-host? Who is Is she? Is she? Ooh, oh, I, I think know. I know. Okay, can ooh, you tell ooh, us, Chris? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Who is it, Chris? I'm not going to guess. Okay. Because it's not me. I'm not guessing. No. I'm, I'm the co-host. Co uh, no, I'm, I'm the co-host. Co 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 no, you're not. Co -host. No, no, no. You got no, it wrong. I'm the, the throwdown. I'm in the, no, the, no. the back. Chris, we're not so co anymore. Not co anymore. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Oh put, your, put your mic up there. You, oh, my gosh. Oh, no. you, you Can I add this to my That's resume real. now? Yes, ma'am. We, we got promoted? Yeah, yeah. Got promoted. I like it how, how I got See? promoted and I didn't even know it. <laughs> You, you were missing, so, so you were uh, yeah, missing. Yeah, I was missing this, in action. This is the one? This it's is Embracing Diversity I'm, Show. I'm, I'm embracing so we were, it. So we was missing something. Okay, yes, Cynthia, yes. Who, who is our new co-host? Well, I don't know her. Woo. Well, I know her. Oh, you do? I do. She's an awesome phenomenon. Okay. They well, give her that mic and let her introduce us. Yeah. Oh, there you go. Let's I do. call her Sunshine. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. That's what I call her. All right. All right. Good morning, everyone. Um, Welcome and uh, welcome. Thank you so much. And uh, it is a special month, the awareness. Mm -hmm. And um, so, congratulations on all the breast cancer survivors. Okay. Um, I'm Sunshine with Sunshine Personal Solutions. It's an honor to be here to be a part of diversity. Yes. And uh, what I do, I specialize on staffing, blessing people with employment opportunities Excellent. as well as blessing employers with great candidates. That's All right, that sounds Excellent. great. Well, we're going to get on with our show. We have a lot to do today, and Chris has some guests, and she's going to be first. She's going to introduce her guests, and we have certificates for the guests, and we have one guest, special guest here that we're going to honor, right, Chris? Because I, I got some surprises over here, Oh, right? we do. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. oh, oh yes. Yeah. So we do. We do. All right. Anyway, okay. hey, I'm take Chris, it away, Miss. I am Chris, Chris Noble, Noble, Doctor Chris Noble. I am Doctor oh. Chris Noble, but <laughs> you don't have to call me Doctor. Just call me Chris, and I'll come. <laughs> anyway, I'm Chris Noble with the Rose and with Embracing Safe Diversity and and, and Angels Surviving Cancer and anybody else that I love dearly. I have. Uh, been with Thelma for a long time, 11 15 years. years. 15 it's years. 15 years we've been dealing, yes, we, we've yes. been loving on each other. Yes, and yes. she has gotten me into so many incredible experiences. <laughs> and I put quotes by incredible. <laughs> <laughs> um, and so today I, I met these women 11 years ago at a, at a breakfast, at, and they're called Angels Surviving Cancer. Right. And I met them and instantly fell in love. So I have been part of Angels Surviving Cancer for 11 years, and it's been fantastic. There they are back here with their beautiful, I don't know, if can, can they see them back there? There they are. Cynthia, Marva, and Sue. Right. So they're, they're my angels. Right. We do lots of really cool things helping women through breast cancer treatment, after breast cancer treatment, after after breast cancer treatment. <laughs> just, just as long as they need help, my angels are there to, to help. Right. Um, we, at the Rose, we diagnosed, it's been about five years ago, six years ago, we di diagnosed a young woman with two kids living in a shelter. Right. And my CEO came over and called me and said, listen, if we don't get her some help, we will lose her. I said, right. do not worry. I called the angels. They did what angels do, swoop in with their wings, wrap the love all around her. She mm -hmm. did have a second bout, didn't she, I think. Yeah. Right. But, but they worked her through that one, and she's now doing well and mm -hmm. and she's um her she and her two kids are in a safe place they're in their own place right. so that's what the angels do for for for, for houston right. and maybe other folks too because right. i don't think they'd ever turn anybody down because they're my angels all righty so i just want to say why this is so so important to me because i'm a 33 year breast cancer survivor yeah. there you go so I, I am so, I, I say survive, but I don't want to use that word. I want to say healed, because yeah. I'm healed in Jesus' name. Exactly. That's what my husband I always wanted me to say, say I'm healed. It is. So, okay. And right now, Chris uh, uh giving me some names, and we have some certificates. And we just want to say our safe diversity, we call 
our uh, uh, breast cancer survivors, we call them our champions. There right? you go. Yes, they oh, are champions. They are our champions. They are champions. Yes. So Chris has given me some names and we have certificates for our champions. Now, if someone here that doesn't have a certificate, we can get you one. But I only have the names that you gave me, Chris. And also, we're going to bring up, up, up Crystal with her guests. Okay? Cool. All righty. Cool. All righty, Chris, take well, it away. Well, you know, I don't necessarily know all these ladies, but I'm okay. liking it. Cynthia Hudson. We got Cynthia Hudson around here? Cynthia Hudson? Nope. Oh, Cynthia Hudson. Oh, I'm that's, sorry. That's, not that's, a problem? No, it's not. How about Dr. Kelly Dampsey? It's I don't know Dr. Kelly Dempsey. Is that one of yours, too? Yeah. yeah she's okay. One of yours. Maybe I should just that's go one, through that's here one of Crystal. and find Crystal. mine. <laughs> <laughs> Here's Crystal. mine. Let me Crystal. just. Crystal's, is, this the lady's going to call me. Okay. So, okay, this, Crystal. Go ahead so let me in, just go, go with mine, with somebody yeah. that I know and love, right, okay. which is my friend, <laughs> Cynthia Howard. Okay, Cynthia. I don't know. We have a love fest. She calls me. I need this. I call her. I need this. And we just go back and forth. She called me. What was about a month ago? Needed some pink chairs. I went, okay, oh God, I can do pink chairs. Don't hear about me. I'm going to get people. I can do pink chairs. We're gonna get a picture. We're gonna get a picture. Yeah, okay. So we did pink Where's chairs. Alex to get a picture. Oh, right Cynthia, Alex, take, picture. where's my phone? You take a picture with this. I, I gotta have a picture of all the, all the ladies over here with me. Good, what did I do with my phone? What, what did I do with my phone? I don't know. Okay. There we go. Okay. Got it. Get that so you can take a picture with that. Lot. Okay. We do a lot of pictures. Let me move this out the way. There you go. You just, Got it. It's a cold. Okay, hold on, sit together. <laughs> no, sit there. Go over. Can you see it good right there? So. <laughs> I love it. We got to post this everywhere so the world knows. Yes. So the women of the world know. Okay. Thank, thank you. you. Congratulations. Thank you. You can move past breast cancer. Right. Absolutely. You can. You can thrive Absolutely. after yes. breast cancer. Yes, right. You can thrive after breast cancer. Name. Yes. Okay. All right. I love your name. Okay. So, <laughs> Dr. Morgan Mitchell. Do I know Dr. Morgan Mitchell? There she is back okay, there. Dr. Morgan Mitchell. Dr. Come Morgan on up. Mitchell and I have been following each other all October. We keep showing up at the same events. <laughs> come on, come on, come on. I said, I asked her where. We're gonna go tomorrow, huh? Okay, Cynthia, want y'all to stay there till we get through, and then when you ready, to yeah. do your introduction. Okay, ready? Get up here, Chris. Where you going? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's so bossy. <laughs> As my niece. Wait a minute, hold on. Okay. Beautiful. All right, congratulations, our congratulations. champion. Oh, You're welcome. I know this person. Okay, you do? I do. Okay. I rode an elevator with her. Okay. <laughs> this goes to my new best friend. Okay. My very new best friend, Crystal Gomez. Hi. Hi. Come on up here. All right. You might as well stay there. That's right. You might as well stay. Yeah. Come over and get in something to be checked. Might as well stay there. Okay. All righty. Let's get it straight, Crystal. Yes. There we go. Okay. Got it? Thank you. All yes. right. I just wanted to say these are uh, our champions. And uh, Chris, come, uh, these are your, uh, um, Chris, uh, Crystal, these are your two. Uh, yeah, you got a couple. Of ladies. There you go. Take this off. Actually, if you do. Okay, Crystal. Dr. Morgan Mitchell, which has already been recognized. <laughs> okay, so she needs a picture together. So she's already. Yes. Okay, what about these two right here? Oh, another picture? Uh, Dr. Del Kelly Dempsey should be joining us um, via phone. Okay, and who is Miss? Who yet. is Miss? Oh, that's mine, Miss Hudson. That's mine. Yeah. That's, that's <laughs> Saturday. I'm on her on Saturday. Okay. I didn't get uh -uh, no. Oh. Come up, up a little bit. Okay. Cynthia, let someone else take the picture with my phone and you come and get in the picture. Huh? He needs a coat. Oh, he needs a coat, okay. <laughs> Give him so he can take the picture. Yeah, okay. Come on, Cynthia, get over here. Y'all come back, we gotta get this picture. Crystal, come back, we gotta get a picture. I don't, I need to have all my co hosts in the picture, okay? Come on up, baby. Come on up. We need to take another picture. We need to take, we need to take another picture. 
We got lots of pictures happening. This is not pictures. Who's that? Dempsey, that was her. Did we get a picture with you? Yes. Yes. Okay, well, hold up y'all certificate. Both of y'all hold it up, okay? Dr. Dempsey is not here today. Okay, Dr. Dempsey. It's gonna she's gonna call it. Okay. Okay. All righty. We ready. Whoa. Okay. All righty. Okay, so we've honored all our champions. So let's give our champions a hand. Yeah. All right. Yeah. We are just so, wait, so, so, where is she? Okay, well, we're getting ready. We got Chris one has more little, Chris one has more little, little award for my sweet friend Cynthia. Yes. Okay. 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 This a, award nice is special. We have our champions, but we also do one champion of the year. So, Chris. And I has chosen the Safe Diversity Champ Breast Cancer Champion of the Year. So, Ms. my Howard, dear friend Cynthia Howard, will you please Best come Champion up? Champion of the Year! Oh, wow! How about that, baby? How about that, baby? How about that? Wow! She was going to be yes. Breast Champion oh, of the World. Oh my goodness! Of the world. I was going to be Breast Champion of the Year. Of the World of the Year. There you go, girl. All right, champion. You get lots of stuff. All right. Yeah, there's right. our breast champion. <laughs> Come on, Cynthia, get in there. All righty. Got everybody? Lava, where are you? <laughs> there you go. <laughs> wow. How about that girl? Breast yeah. Hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> of the world. Of the world. Of the world. Of the year, of the world, right. of, the of, the year, of, the world right. of the universe. Oh, wow. <laughs> All right. Oh have we awarded goodness. everybody? No, we have one more. We're going to go to, we're gonna go to our next one. Okay. Okay, uh, Chris. Yes, love. Thank you so much for these wonderful ladies that's here today. And before we go, before we go to our next segment, do we have any more breast cancer or survivors back there that's, that's not? I got my three angels. That's it. Okay. No, I, this lady right here. Come up. What's your name? Which which? Marvin. Marvin. Marvin, you. You both of y'all. Are y'all okay. breast cancer survivors? Okay. Yeah, yeah, they all are. Okay, yeah. well, I want y'all one girl and then there's Cindy. Me, Yeah, there you go. Take a picture, and I want y'all just to say something to a blessed. Uh, Cynthia, going to take a picture. Mm -hmm. Cynthia, just give a it little... to the other lady. One lady for y'all. I can help you. When I take a picture, you I can... need for you and uh, Sunshine mm -hmm. to get in the pictures, okay? Oh. The, uh, and this is my phone. Yeah, this is my I'm phone. I'm going to send them to you. Yeah. To... I mean, okay. just to, just to, to me. see okay. these Post. ladies yeah, thriving to, and, and right. it, it, to me is 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 a blessing. And they right. bless bless the other ladies Cindy, that are they are struggling through thing. breast cancer. Look at these beautiful women that are thriving, right. and they're yeah, and they're and they're examples of right. you can you can make it past breast cancer. It's yes. one foot right, one foot in front of the other, and and the angels and your friends will help you get there. Yes. Right. Yeah. And these yes. are some of my these angels. ladies here. I just want them to uh, just say their name. And, and tell you, and they can tell you how many years they've been Perfect. a survivor of Perfect. breast cancer. Perfect. They are here. I know they're here to support Miss Howard, right? Yeah. Yes. yes, always. Yes. So yes. I'm thankful to have y'all to be on the show today. I just give us y'all names and what organization you're with and how long you've been a survivor. Okay. Yes. My name is Marva Skinner, and I am a 12-year survivor. Woo! Yay. All right. All right. And my name is Susan McDowell Hill. And I'm a 25 year old. And looking good, good too. <laughs> what do cool. you say about that? Isn't God good? Are we yes, good? Yes. We got enough yes. pictures yes. now, girl? No, yes. God is good but, all the time. No, I, I know God is good all no, the time. No, but I need y'all to come get a picture. We're going to get a picture of uh, uh, Cynthia and, and, okay. and Sunshine with these two ladies right here. You know, come on. Y'all stand right here. We've got to get a picture with you guys. Uh, Y'all, y'all, I guess. So y'all gotta get a picture with that. Sometimes I wonder how God can be taking care of anybody else because He takes such good care of me. I know, and, and I, I, I need Him a lot. We to need watch Him a lot. Me. Yes, thank you, Heavenly Father. Okay. Here we go. All righty. Oh, wow. We're finished with our breast cancer, but I just wanted to let everybody out there listening today. Uh, Safe Diversity, we honor Breast Cancer Awareness every month, but we also honor domestic violence. That is a, a very important issue. And I know you guys have been watching the TV lately. 
about domestic violence. One of the ladies that worked in, uh, I serve on the board for the Spring Education Foundation. There was one of the ladies in Spring uh, uh, District that was trying to help her friend get out of an abusive relationship and she got killed. So we have to be able to uh, be there for our friends but know who to contact when there's something going on because my friend, I went on on Saturday night to a uh, big gala that my friend, she's the oldest uh, 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 domestic violence organization in Houston, in Harris County, and that is uh, Dr. Conte Terrell. She had a big event in on uh, women's on last Saturday night. Also, she had a male that she's on was in the music mm-hmm. relationship. So I always think it's the female, but this was a male that had been abused by his wife for many, many years, and Dr. Conte was able to help him get out of a relationship. So it's not always the women, it's the men as well. So I just wanted to say that, um, uh, okay, we, we got some here? This award? Yes. Okay, hold on, I'm gonna turn it over to my other co-host, Cynthia, or we have one of our uh, domestic violence uh, uh, organization here, and we would like to honor her with a certificate and an award, okay? You can have that. So, okay, Cynthia, you can take it away. Where's your mic? You're... I'm sorry. All right, come on. Okay, good morning to everyone. Morning. I am excited to be here. But I'm more... talking to Mike a little bit. I'm yeah, sorry. And I'm more excited about the uh, beautiful, phenomenal, magnificent woman that we have as a special guest today here in honor of domestic violence. Mm-hmm. And when I tell you this lady has a testimony She also has a new book out dealing with her trials and tribulations Mm -hmm. called Devil in a White Coat. And she can be, it can be purchased on all Amazon, all major media platforms. But I want to introduce this woman. Okay, come over here. Dr. Brenda Phillips Simmons. And I also want to present her this past weekend. I had the pleasure and honor of accepting an award on her behalf because she was busy helping someone in a domestic violence uh, oh, wow. crisis situation okay. so she received a business excellent award so okay. I want to say Wonderful. good morning and congratulations and we are glad you're here this morning Dr. Brenda Phillips Simmons Thank okay you. Let, let's give her a hand come on Cynthia we'll get a picture come on, get in the picture all right congratulations got it all right Cynthia, okay, here yes, we go, darling. Oh, thank you. Here, but I just wanted to thank you for uh, being a part of that. We just want to let the listeners out there know that, you know, the Safe Diversity, we do, uh, um, every year we do uh, domestic violence also along with when we do our breast cancer survivors. Because that is so, so, is. so very important to know about these awareness of the month, right? Right. They're very, very serious. So um, I just wanted to say that uh, I have... My co-host over here, as you guys know, Dr. Chris Noble. You know, Chris told you she'd been with me for about 15 years. I met Chris after my husband died, and we let's like connected. We, we ain't left each other since then, right? We just like locked and been friends ever since. And she's been a dedicated friend. She's helped us with the organization. She's been one of our scholarship committee ever since she started. She said, "What what can I do to help y'all?" I said, okay, Miss Scholarship Committee. So she was helping us to raise money, but I just want her to say about her heart because she sponsors a scholarship every year. She sponsors $1,000 for a scholarship to help a student go to college, and that means a lot because this is what this show is all about. It does. Uh, Mr. Uh, Mike Kahn is the owner of the show, and he serves on our board, but he said, Miss Scott, this show is for you to raise money for the scholarships, Mm -hmm. and I do raise money on the show. And let me announce for our announcement. Let me say that this year on the show, from January to September, I raised seven thousand dollars on this show. That meant that people came on the show and brought me a check to help me with the scholarships. Excellent. Because it takes a village to send yes. these kids to yes. college. Yes. Right? It takes yes. a village. So that's what I have these Latest here that's going to help us to continue to raise money, send these kids to college. Yep. Also, just the dear, because I'm a breast cancer survivor, 33 year breast cancer survivor. So I wanted to do something for Chris because she's always done something for us for 15 years. So I wanted to donate to the Rose 
two hundred and fifty dollars wow. from the safe yeah. diversity. Right. Yeah, right. isn't that great? Come on, bet y'all. Come on, let's get a picture. Get that picture. I got that. the real check already. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I got the real <laughs> check. <laughs> All right. You got it. Now, can you see it? Krista, you got a picture? Okay. Krista's helping us today. Krista's your. Yeah. No, Krista is all around. She does. She does whatever. You, yeah, I, I I get it. She doesn't know how to say no. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't. I know. I have that same problem. Okay. All right. Chris, so, thank you so much for all that you do for Safe Diversity. We just want to let you know we love you and we love the Rose. Thank oh, you, thank you, thank you. We just want to let you know that we love you and we love the Rose. Well, all right? ditto. And thank you so much. But that I just you do. Want, want your viewers to know that this 250 represents a mammogram for a woman. Yes. Okay. And she will, she'll either get a letter saying she's cancer free. Or, at, or, or be told she has breast cancer. But if she has breast cancer, now she can fight it. If she knows she's got it, she can fight it. Mm -hmm. So this, this is a, a, a wonderful thing that you've given me because you've given a family a chance. Yes. All right. Yep. So let's give Chris a hand. Oh, yeah. Let's. And the rose. Yes. yes. All right. Okay. Also, we just wanted to say and thank you. Dr. Uh, Simmons for coming. Thank you. I know you do a lot of work, and and, and I just talk wanted a to bit say about her organization. Yeah, and what she does. I just wanted to say that uh, thank you for all that you do for 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 the uh, uh, domestic violence and Safe Diversity has been one of your sponsors yes, this year yes, for you what have. you do to women. So I just wanted to share that and to let you know that we appreciate you and you so all that you much. do. Thank you so and, and, and the name of your organization, just give us the name of your organization. Sugar, I am Sugar Baby 24 Hour Safe Place Services. I work for children of domestic violence. Okay. And Did you guys hear that? Say it again and give me your website. Give me your website. www.sugarbaby24safe.com. Oh, yeah. Did everybody hear that? Say it one more time. We're going to say wwwsugarbaby 24 hour safe. Mm -hmm. com. All righty. And if anybody going through any problems, you know how to reach this lady. Yes. All righty. You can call Thanks. me at my crisis center, 832-656-8661. We right. answer 24 hours a day. All right, you guys. Can you say the number just one more time? 832-656-8661. We answer 24 hours a day. All right. You guys hear that? All right. Okay. Okay. Now it's our business time that we turn over to. We can talk about safe diversity. All right. Yes. Yeah. All right. Thank you, Dr. Simmons, Thank for you. coming on this morning. How many of you all know that uh, domestic okay. violence is not just eight to five? Yeah. No, yeah. it's 24 7. It's 24 7. Yes, it is. And I just want to thank Dr. Simmons again yeah. thank for you taking for what time you do. out of your busy schedule yeah. Yeah. to come and share with yeah. us a little bit but let her before so, she go talk a little just a little bit i got to go to the next club we don't have we was late starting sit there, oh, so i don't have okay. a lot a lot of okay. time so i got to go okay. on to the state that person right okay. now i just wanted to show you our flyer this is coming up this saturday we're going to be having our monthly uh community outreach service with our students so our students have to do 120 hours of community service hours, and we provide that service for them. So we partner with the city of Houston, and we have it over at the Love Park. That's in the Heights. And I'm going to give you the address. Everybody's invited, and, and we have a ball. When the kids get through, they do some activities. So the address is, uh, Chris Reed, I've got to have my glass. I'm a senior citizen, you guys, okay? Mm -hmm. <laughs> the address is on Lowe Street. I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're not. A, no, I'm a real senior citizen, Chris. Go ahead. Can you find the address? Well, I found the 6161 Savoy. Is that that's no. not it? Yes. Oh, yeah, that's here. Right now. Okay, <laughs> the address, the address is on 12th Street, I and I don't know the address. It's at, it's at the community center, but everybody is invited. I thought they had put it on it on that award. Love Community Center. Hold on. Chris is going to put it up. A Love Community Center. That's where all our kids to be, our parents and our kids, we come out. So the most important thing is what we do every fourth Saturday, we honor our student with a check. We have so many students. We have 12 students that will be getting checks on that day for doing their essay in art. How about essay in art. They did an essay in art. And we also have our new program where the kids do an essay on environment and climate justice they have to know about what's surrounding and we teach our kids is their right 
the breath cleaner and live in a healthy and safe environment. Yes. So that's what we do with Safe Diversity. So we'll be giving all these kids that want. We have 12 kids. We'll be getting checks. So if that's they don't cool. come, they don't get their check. If they don't do no essay, they don't do no oh. art, they don't, they, they don't get no check. So we give money away every month. So that's why we always ask you to support what Safe Diversity do because we give checks away every month. 12 months out of the year, we get mm -hmm. checks away to kids. So we, so we let people know what we do with their money. We show you what we do with your money. Every month we show you what we do with your money. So we're all about helping the kids go to college. Safe Diversity, let me name our programs. We have a little ambassador program, and that's with the kindergarten students. Oh, we wow. have Yes, we just started that, and, and, and Ms. Wallace and also Acid is going to be working with that program. We have a junior high program. We have a high school program, and we have a college program. We have 25 students in our college program, Chris. It's just growing. They're all over the well, United cool. States. Kids <laughs> all over the United States. So they are. And we have about 21 high school kids. So we're getting these kids ready for college. But I don't run the program. Ms. Foote and Ms. William run the program, and Ms. Wallace and Sandra Scott run the program. And they're very strict. Kids don't do no essays. They don't do no art. But at the end of the year, in August, they don't get no check, right? They honor the kids by the participation by their participation into the program. Mm -hmm. So mothers, fathers, uncle, aunties, make sure that your kid participate in the program. If the time that they can't come, please just zoom in on the Zoom mm -hmm. and let us know where they are. Some of the kids do a lot of activities, but they still can be a part of the program. Just let us know what you're doing. Just log into that chat. If they can't come on the fourth Saturday of each month, just let us know what's going on. But they can still be in a the program. They can still get their check. Uh, mm -hmm. We also do book scholarships. We do a $250 book scholarship. And we also do a $500 uh, scholarship called the Barbara Jordan Endeavor Scholarship. And that's sponsored by Miss Rosemary McGowan, Barbara Jordan's sister. So we have a lot going on. So we need your money. All right? And I'm going to call up uh, Chris, Mr. Chris Gomez. She is our membership chair. She's going to come up and tell you a little bit about how to become members. And if anybody here want to become a member, she's going to tell you how you can become a member today. All right? All right, Ms. Chris. Well, good Ms. morning, Crystal. everyone. All right. I am Crystal Gomez, the membership chair for Safe Diversity. It's an honor. And again, we'd like to invite you to join us at Love Park at 1000 West 12th Street every fourth Saturday of the month from 10 a.m. to 11 30 a.m. Right. Mm -hmm. So in order to donate to, to Safe Diversity, you can become a member for just $10 a month. That allows you to send a, a student to college or to a trade school or whatever they decide to do right. after they complete their secondary schooling. Mm -hmm. So you can go to safediversity.org to learn more about our organization and to donate or to become a monthly member. All right, Chris. Thank you. Can you thank now? You, can you tell us a, a little bit about what you help them to do on on that day with, with the kids? Because they're gonna have some challenges going on that that day. Yes. Yeah, so there is so much going on. We have physical activity. We're writing essays. We're learning personal development skills, and just having a great time while doing it. <laughs> right. All righty. Thank you so much, Crystal. I just want to say this is very in, important that, that the kids do community outreach service. They have to learn how to give back. And also, when they get through it, doing their community outreach service, they have some challenge. So they do challenges. Uh, next Saturday, they're going to be challenging. They're going to have basketball challenge. They're going to have a hula hoop challenge, jump rope challenge. And they got a lot of different games that they, they're going to be playing. It's going to be a lot of fun. But they're going to do the community outreach uh, 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 project first, and Miss Foot, and Miss Wallace, and uh, Miss William, and Miss Sarah. They have a lot of, of 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 events that other events that they attend. So they're going to be having. I don't know exactly the time, but they're going to be having a, 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 a October fest, and that's going to be at over at the other uh, center. I don't know the address, but I get it. We'll put it out. But the kids have to do community outreach service because they have to know what's important to give back. So that's what we teach them. But it's going to be a fun day. And if your kid, we kicked, we kicked off last month. And if your kid is not able to come and they're in the program, then you need to call one of the coordinators. And that is Ms. Foote, Ms. Williams, Ms. Scott, and Ms. Wallace. Call one of them 
and let them know if your kids can come. They just need to make a note of it in order to keep them in the program because they're going to be looking for a check in August. And they're going to say, why you didn't get a check? Because you didn't participate in the program, and that's why you didn't get a check. So please, parents, let your kid know that we know they're in a lot of extra activities at school, but they have to know where you are and what you're doing. So you have to call the coordinators and let them know what they're doing. All righty? So right now, I'm going to turn it over and let our uh, newest, newest host, she's going to tell you a little bit about what her part that she plays in state diversity, okay? Good morning, everyone, again. It's such a pleasure and honor to be here once again. Um, I'm Sunshine, and I am a member of um, Safe Diversity. What we do, uh, especially on my now working events, we announce, you know, to seeing how we can help students. You know, there's a lot of going on in the community, and for now, you know, we do need everybody's support and help uh, to keep our students safe and to motivate them to be able to continue their education and you know um, get a career you know mm -hmm. uh we want our our students to be uh you know off of the streets uh yes you yes. know to be uh um, right. you know involved and you know keep use their time wisely you know with this great stuff that is happening every fourth saturday yeah, fourth saturday, yeah. yeah so definitely uh you know we are um, a huge supporter of safe diversity Yes. Can you tell them a little bit about how you help us to get the word out with your e-blast that you do every month? Can you tell us a little bit about Absolutely. that? Absolutely. How have, you do? We have a, a weekly newsletter that goes out to businesses. Um, we have um, 10,000 people. It's already getting close over 10,000 um, that do receive our newsletter, and we are always adding um, your information, I Miss mean, Scott. Okay, and tell them how they can be a part of that. Because everything that she get, it helps send our kids to college, and we're so honored that she does that. So tell us how, how they can be a part of uh, the e All e we need is an email. So if we right. receive your email, you'll start receiving your weekly newsletter. Mm -hmm. And uh, we take pride for that newsletter because we, like, we announce, you know, what's going on with Sunshine's events as well as everything that's going on in Houston, mm -hmm. including um, Safe Diversity. Um, also, uh, we announce this at every... Mm -hmm. single event that we have with Sunshine's Champions Networking Breakfast, okay. our mixers, our coffee. So that's how we connect. All right. Thank you so much. And I just wanted to mention uh, my other co-host, uh, you know, she's an attorney, and she had, uh, um, I think it was a trial today that she couldn't be here. So we just want to be able to get uh, Attorney Leona Phyllis a hand. She's not here today, but that's my uh, co-host. She's been uh, uh, with me for since I started. I think five years ago that I started, she's been with me. So we just want to give her a shout out because no, she has to work. That's a living. So we know she has to work. Oh, I so. want to send out a shout out to Noble Construction. They were our recent sponsor. Okay, yes, um, yes. So Noble yes. Construction, they're amazing. They're doing a lot for the community. And uh, yes, yeah, so if you are in the construction industry, definitely connect with them. Noble okay. Construction. All right. Well, I'm going to take a moment uh, and, and we'll follow up that. Um, announced about our uh, check presentation that we're going to have off the college, off the school and college. And we've already got the date and we've already s uh, selected the location. I'm not giving the location out right now, but I just wanted to let you know it's going to be July the 27, from 11 to 2. That would be a free event for the parents and students. But guess what? We are selling vendor boots. I haven't got the price yet, but the place is huge, so we can have up to at least... 50 to 60 vendors in this uh, facility wow. where we have an event. So I'm telling all of my uh, committed people, my uh, co-hosts and everybody, go out there and, and start vendors. We're going to have a little talk after the show for a minute. And we're going to talk about it. But we're gonna. that's how we're going to be raising money for our students because we're not charging it because it, some of our parents have two or three kids, and to pay $50 for all of them to come, that's not going to do it. Because that's our fun day. That's our day that we have pizza and we celebrate everybody's birthday. So that's going to be free. We're going to uh, sell a lot of vendor booths, but we can uh, continue to make money for our students to go to college. Mm -hmm. All righty. Okay. Uh, Cynthia, do, do, do you want to say anything? Let me see how many minutes we got. Oh, we got time. Go ahead and say something. Uh, no, come on. I don't have anything. I was just wanted okay. my guests to basically speak. Okay. But I don't have anything but else in, to say. Okay. Well, we have an annual gala coming up. Oh, okay. I well, let me, about that. Well, let me finish. Okay. Let that. me finish. Uh, on uh, next month, I want to make this announcement. Next month, it's going to be Veterans. It's Veteran Awareness Month. So what Safe Diversity does, Safe Diversity 
honors. It doesn't have to be men, men and women, veterans. So on this show here, we we'll be we we'll have some veterans coming, in, and we're going to be honoring them with a certificate as well. And so Crystal has some uh, veterans that she have invited. I have invited some veterans. Dr. Duncan has invited some some doctors that was veterans that's going to be coming over. So I know. Uh, uh, Dr. Allen's going to invite a veteran. I know uh, uh, Sunshine going to invite some veterans. So we all have to come together and invite these people. We don't just honor veterans once a month. I honor veterans, you guys, every month. I honor a veteran, one or two, for the services that they have provided to us. You know, just, just think about it. They've given their lives to us to go out there and fight for us. So I honor them every month. So I do that. So that's the one, another thing I want you to put on your calendar is that that's going to be on uh, fourth uh, Monday next month, we're going to be honoring veterans. All righty. That's November the 4th. November the 4th. Okay. Well, let us say something about that, Gala, if I can go what back and talk about You want to talk about it? Well, you can talk about it. It's both can. Um, we have an annual uh, domestic uh, hold on. Let, 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 put the, yeah, you had to talk to the mic for a okay. minute. We have an annual domestic violence gala coming up. It's okay. to raise money for children and women of domestic violence, but okay. it's more so for us to afford the building that we need to make money. So we can, uh, so not to make money, but to place the families in the home so okay. they'll be safe. Because I'm a crisis center, so I get the calls from HPD, um, the 1 800 domestic violence, and crisis centers from all over the world. I work with people until we find them a place to stay. Okay. Um, this, that's why we call it the safe place. So we also do counseling and, and crisis counseling oh, and the okay. 1 800 hotline. Can you uh, get that date uh, uh, again to everybody so they can get that date? The gala is going to be October the 29th, this coming Sunday. It's going to be at the Hampton Inn in Sugarland. The address is 218 Parmenade Way. And it's, the red carpet is going to uh, start at 3. The event is going to start at 4. We okay. will be honoring youth philanthropy, but we will also be honoring domestic violence survivors. Yes. All righty. Who, who, who else are you going to be honoring? Well, the sponsors, of course. And <laughs> uh, Dr. Thelma Scott, who has been one of our champions, proud supporters. Yes. And, and Dr. Simmons always says she look at Miss Scott as a mentor, and she really looks up to her. Well, let her tell her own story. I okay, really do. thank you so I really much. Do. Okay, you've been a mentor to me, and I mean, from the beginning, you've been a teacher and a grandma and <laughs> a mama. I mean, okay. you just at all. I mean, I have to take it like it come because you te right. you're teaching me the business, and you're right. teaching me how to make a safe place and right. a safe diversity for my community. So right. I take what you give me mm -hmm. and I use it and I implement it into what I'm doing as well. So I tell the parents about the safe diversity program. Right. So that pushes them to get their teens into school right. and, and working with the program. So, mm -hmm. I mean, everybody that I deal with, I, I mean, you know, all my sponsors, but for you, I mm -hmm. always go to safe diversity. And mm -hmm. I, because this is the program that, really mentors the mm -hmm. you know the youth and you don't discriminate against whether they have a criminal nope. record or at you know at risk or whatever at, that's disabilities right. whatever right you work Any with every be a part of our program yes. and that's why you know i want to pay homage to you all right and can i say one more thing okay one go, more thing go ahead miss dr as, allen go ahead as dr simmons executive director okay she will be presenting a scholarship this year. Oh, let's give her a hand. So, I just wanted to make that down. She All will right. be doing a scholarship to Safe Diversity because she wants to support what you do right. as well. Right. So I just wanted to let you know that she will and I will. Right. Be, be doing a scholarship. Well, you know I'm always around. You know I'm continuing to support your organization because you know I have a heart for uh, what you do. I never mm -hmm. had the experience in domestic violence or anything like that, but I just have a heart to help you, right, right for what you yes. do because I know you are dedicated to what you are doing. Yes, ma'am. It's your heart. I mean, yes. I mean, she takes it above and beyond. When she don't have money, guess what, you guys? She uses her own money. Mm -hmm. She does. She does. So Wonder that means a lot. Okay, that means a lot. Okay. So Okay. I didn't know that uh, domestic violence was going to be here in Bob today, but um, mm -hmm. I would love to be able to be one of your supporters. Oh, thank so you. I want to start Ooh, thank supporting. You. And the reason, uh, you never know what's behind the doors. You no, never you know, know what exactly. a woman goes through. I have been through domestic violence. Yes. Uh, right. Yeah, you understand. You know, I, I want, yes, exactly. So I, I do want to get involved okay. more than ever. Right. Um, I think if we can save 
a woman's life, you know, and just support right. each other, yes. you know. Yes. Um, like I stated, nobody knows what's behind a door. Behind yes. a woman, there's a story, and there's right. a lot to it. So we got to support each other and help others as well. Right. right. It's, and it's I so, wanna, so important. I want to say that domestic violence is not just a hit or a beating. It's verbal, mental, emotionally. Right. I mean, it's all types of ways to be violent, you know, with a person. Right. And not have to put your hands on them. Right. But what I concentrate on is the children. Those are the ones that are left behind. Right. Because they grow up to think that this is okay. Right. So we use a reprogramming, like a psychotherapy type uh, technique. Right. And that's how we work with our children. Because the mother and the parent, oh, we work with fathers too. You know, right. it's okay. not just... Um, mm -hmm. You know, right. women who are domestic violence, it's mm -hmm. everyone. You right. know, uh, we try to keep the family dynamics together. But what we do is we if we can't, we will move the whomever is being, uh, you know, uh, abused right. out of the home. Right. But uh, working with the Houston Police Department, not, uh, the domestic violence outreach team, right. you know, it's we get all kinds of calls. Okay. I mean, so the calls are very, crit you know, critical to response. There's times where I've had to go and take my phone and call the, the police department and put them together and right. because there was nothing I could do at that time. Right. But okay. I just want, I'm trying to save the world, so I can't, you know, I guess I have to do it, and women run the world, so I guess right. I'll have to okay. do it this uh, way. Uh, uh, Dr. Time. All right. right. Dr. Simmons, can you uh, give them your information, your phone number, just one more time? I was, Cynthia was kind of rushing me, but I wanted you to be on the end because I want women is listening to this today. I want them to know that there's help out there, that they're not alone. Right. Okay, they're not alone. So can you give your number and your information just a little bit about my, Safe Place again? Okay, uh, my, my, I'm Sugar Baby 24-Hour, mm -hmm. Safe Place Services. My website is www.sugarbaby24hoursafe.com. Mm -hmm. And my telephone number, the most important thing, is 832-656-656. Eight six six one. Even if you just want to call and talk, you don't have to leave if you're not ready. Okay. If you want to call and talk, make okay. yourself feel better, just to have mm -hmm. someone, a stranger to talk to, because right. you you can't always talk to your family. Okay. So if you just want to talk, I'm here. I mean, okay. I'm always here, 24 hours a day. Get that number one more time. Eight three two six five six eight six six one. Okay. Sugar baby, 24 hour. I'm right. here for you. Thank well, you. thank you so much. We had another lady come up. Are you a part of yeah, our program? She is my guest for the okay. Uh, breast okay. cancer. She's a breast world. cancer. Okay, well, come on over here and say she something. Yeah. Right here. Okay. Right here. She's our guest. Come on. Good morning. Good morning, everyone. Can you put over here and want you to say something? Uh, let her introduce you first. Let Sunshine introduce you. This is Siobhan. Siobhan. And uh, she's my guest. She's a cancer survivor. So when she told me her story, I was like, I was impressed. And you know, I thank God that she's able to connect with us here today physically. Okay. Thank you so much for coming. You and tell us a little bit, just to give us your name, just tell her how many years you are, are a breast cancer survivor. And we're so honored to have you here. And thank you so much for coming. All righty. Well, thank you very much for having me this morning, Dr. Okay. Scott. Thank you very much for the invitation as well, Sunshine. Okay. My name is Siobhan Jones. Uh -huh. I am a four-year breast cancer survivor. All right. All right. All the glory goes to God. All Amen. glory to God. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. a healer, a miracle worker, and I am so grateful for the work that he's done in me. Right. Um, just to briefly share my story, I was 39 and a half when I was diagnosed with breast cancer. Of course, they always tell you to wait until you're 40 to get your mammogram. Right. Mm -hmm. I had some neurological issues going on, was unable to walk, and finally after extensive testing my doctor said hey you need to go get a mammogram i'm like why i'm not 40. Mm -hmm. so um i go and get my mammogram i was diagnosed um right. had an amazing team working with me from um the oncologist the surgeons mm -hmm. um and since we're giving shout outs i want to give a shout out to um first dr kelly dempsey She's amazing. Yes. Um, we'll be honoring her. We honored her today, but she's not here, but we got a certificate for her, so we'll be oh, honoring her. Really? Yes. That's fantastic. Yes. Dr. Dempsey was, she and she's, is she's amazing. truly amazing. Yes. Um, indeed a godsend. Uh, mm -hmm. Never made me think for one time that I would not beat it. Right. Um, family, my friends, um, 
Special shout out to Mr. Keith Davis as well. Keith yes, Davis, we'll tell you something about Mr. Keith Davis, my my cousin Keith Davis. He is amazing. He is amazing, you guys. Mr. I just wanted to say, Mr. Uh, uh, Mr. Demars, Mr. Keith, if you listen to this on there, I want you to listen to this. Somebody come on my show talking about you, so me and you got to talk, right? <laughs> Somebody mentioned your name on my show, so that tell me what you got to step up the pace, huh? You hear me, Sunshine? She talking, Mr. <laughs> Mr. Demo, talking about my family member, talking about my family member. Yeah. Okay, Mr. So, Demar. Mr. Demars, <laughs> right? Um, he was and in, in is currently um, a CEO of the company that I work for, Baskin Media Group. Right. And um, he stood beside me the entire way. Um, right. I'm just very grateful. I do implore everyone, as always, don't right. wait until you're 40. Get your exams early because right. I detect, well, not me, but because the cancer was detected early on, I'm still here. Yes. And Thank I God. I am still fighting not only for myself, but for my friends, yes. for mm -hmm. my, fit, my family, my sisters, my cousins. Yes. Anyone that has that disease. Right. Mm -hmm. All right, darling. Thank, Thank you, you so, much. so much. Thank you for being here over here That's with Mama terrible. Scott. Well, well, I, I'm Mama Scott at the DMARS, right? <laughs> <laughs> I'm Mama Scott at the DMARS, so I'm so honored to be here. This is my friend right here as well. She, she's my friend. But Mr. DMARS got to step up the pace. I'm having him because he's a veteran, right? And I want to see him on his show next month. He, he's a, did you know he was a veteran? I okay. So Me and him going to have a little side talk. If I don't have one with my no sunshine wheel. So, mm -hmm. give right. him a break. It's his birthday today. Oh, no. Oh, y'all. Oh, no. You said, okay, I'm going to really get it. Everybody, let's say happy birthday to him. Happy I'm gonna birthday. Get okay, ready? Okay, it's, it's ready, everybody? Mm -hmm. Okay. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Dr. Oh, I mean, happy Keith Davis, D. D. Mars, Mars, Mr. D. Moss. Happy birthday to you. From all of us. And all many right. More. Mm -hmm. And many more. We got 90 people that's here. Okay, Sunshine says, go ahead. Happy birthday, Demars. Um, you're amazing at what you do. I've seen you elevate, um, especially women, you know, um, supporting women, awarding women. And um, we always appreciate you supporting and elevating us. I include myself because I have been awarded by you. So follow him with the subcontractors you are saying newspaper and just um, speak to him directly. He's amazing. Okay, this is employee. Go ahead, take it away. Happy birthday. Listen, <laughs> <laughs> you international today, Mr. Mr. Yes, D. Mars. Yes, you are you the all celebrity. Over um, okay. We love you. We appreciate you. Thank you. Happy, happy, happy birthday. Okay, Bye. Cynthia. Happy birthday, Mr. Keith D. Mars. This is Cynthia Allen. I want to wish you a very happy special day today, and we want to thank you for everything that you do for safe diversity and the community. All right. Oh, wait a minute. I said Chris. It's okay. I, I, I snuck back in here. Okay. Yeah. okay. Ahead, Happy Chris. birthday again. Gosh, it's wonderful to have birthdays, and it's wonderful all the things you do for Thelma and for the community. Sir, we couldn't do it without you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Well, this is Crystal Gomez, and I just would like to wish you a happy birthday for all you do for the community. We thank you. And this is Brenda Simmons, um, Dr. Brenda Simmons of Sugar Baby 24 Hours Safe Place. Happy birthday, and may, and may God bless you with many more. Amen. Okay, it's my turn. Happy birthday, cousin <laughs> D. Mars, right? You see all these beautiful ladies here? You're special on my show today, yeah. right? I didn't plan to end my show with saying I have birthday to you, but we did. So you know that I love you much, and I thank you for just loving me and loving on me since my husband died. You guys have been loving on me, and I really appreciate that. So when I call on you, you have always been there. So thank you, Mr. Keith Davis. And now we're going to close out our show to everyone. We'll be here the same place, same time next month. And we want to say take care. God loves you. Everybody here in the station love you. Safe Diversity love you. Radio Devon, love you, and guess what? There ain't nothing you can do about it. <laughs> have, a, have a blessed day and stay safe.